What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Colors and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be all about my update and what's been going on as well as my 15th and 16th week of pregnancy. I have been gone for about two weeks, maybe even a little bit more. I don't even know. Like I was trying to think the other day how, how far along pregnant I even am. And honestly, I would check my app right now. But I don't have the app because I actually just got the iPhone um, Pro Max, whatever, 11. Yep, just got this phone and none of my Android uh, stuff transferred over. So I don't even have none of those apps and I don't even have the space to figure that out. So it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. But I finally got my iPhone and that's a whole nother situation in itself. But so far pretty decent but yeah so i believe if i'm not mistaken that at this point in time that i'm recording this video it is tuesday 9 47 p.m i actually intended on recording this video a lot sooner but uh nala's sick she has some type of virus that the doctor don't know what she has so she's not feeling well so she is wanting a lot of attention and that's understandably so um but if i had to say i am currently 17 weeks in three days but anyway we're gonna jump into the whole shabam i am definitely feeling a lot better so let's just stop all that intro rambling if you want to know what's been going on with me and how my baby girl or boy is doing um during the 15th and 16th week because it's been a road trip um just keep on watching so if you have been looking out for me seeing my community posts or follow me on instagram you know it has been a whole lot a whole lot of so i'm gonna start back around uh 15 weeks um it has been a stressful two and a half weeks um, I have been really, really, really sick. Thank God I'm feeling a little bit better now, even though I forgot to take my nausea medicine. But um, it has been really stressful because I have been cramping a lot. Work has been giving me a number. Last time when I had Nala at this point, I wasn't working, but I was still going through pretty bad symptoms at this point in time. So. I couldn't even imagine um, the way I was feeling then and working. But now um, I feel that work is causing me to feel even more sick. So I started cramping. Then somewhere along the lines, I started bleeding and having weird uh, tinted discharges. And then all the way up until I believe towards the end of my 15 week, I started to have contraction literally had three contractions within an hour back to back to back and i decided to go home i knew that the week has been very stressful because i do leave work but i don't leave more than four hours a week and even up to this point now i'm starting to leave more like eight hours a week and it's just becoming a lot and my managers <laughs> have tried to accommodate me in a lot of ways and i feel blessed because they don't really have to but it's still not enough i think the long periodic standing is is where it's at and there's really no way around that but i started to get like super exhausted and winded started to get even a little bit lightheaded and i remember around 15 weeks with nala i actually passed out at work and i had an emergency appointment and that's when they told me that there was nothing wrong with me turned out obviously knowing the situation now uh we knew something was but I've been super exhausted uh having weird discharges um even slightly green experiencing cramping contractions bleeding and having a lot of nosebleeds is what i wrote and after i started having contractions on and that was on a friday i decided to go to the emergency room and what's so crazy actually i forgot to say before i go on to this part another craziness why i couldn't post is because i actually got into an accident a car accident me david and Allah. it wasn't like 
totaled or anything like that but we was taking her to the aquarium for the first time on the way there we had gotten into a car accident which we was planning on recording the aquarium situation but after that the whole accident situation we was really into recording understandably so anyway Nala was fine and she was just like shook from being hit by the other car she started to get a little fussy and then after she wasn't fussy no more didn't really care about the fish and also I couldn't record too because it was really dark and it really reminded me why we didn't get a lot of good pictures for our wedding which we had at the aquarium which you can be able to see on my my channel it's actually the first two or three videos on my channel one being the garter toss removal one being uh, the wedding trailer I wanted to post actual footage of the wedding but uh, we had too much copyright in that video but yeah I quickly remember why um, we didn't have the best photos and it's really important to have a really good photographer when it comes to photographing at the aquarium because it is extremely dark. But going back to what I was originally saying, that I did experience the contractions. I ended up calling my doctor's office nurse about it and she kind of didn't really know what I should do or what could be causing this because clearly at the time I'm only 15 weeks or so I shouldn't be experiencing no contraction at all and I'm like I had a baby before I know what contractions are I know that feeling and it's inevitable when you feel it if you've never had a baby before trust me if there's ever a part of you that guesses when you actually do feel it you would never guess again <laughs> she was kind of like go to the emergency room so we did we end up going to the emergency room that we end up having nala at which we didn't really want to but i kind of had a feeling that i already had an appointment monday and this was friday and there was a part of me that didn't even really want to go even though that sounds selfish because i feel like it's gonna be a replay of what happened with the situation when I was pregnant with Nala at 15 weeks, they kind of told me that I was fine, nothing's wrong with you, um, you just have a bad pregnancy and all this stuff. And I'm just like, I don't want to be told that again and to go through all this. But let me just put my feelings aside and go ahead and just do it. So I decided to go, I went to the emergency room and oh my God, I swear everyone and their mom was there. But it was so many people, it was like a line and it just kind of already like made me not want to be there. So then finally we go to check in and everything's broken down. The wristband's not working and printing off. She can't find my information from when I was here before. So she just tells us to sit down and she'll go give us a band whenever she can get things fixed so we sit literally <laughs> literally maybe 30 minutes and we left like I was like I don't want to be here it smells weird I was just like let's just come go to the one that we actually are thinking about having this baby at tomorrow tomorrow comes around we never do it and then I was like let's just go Monday let's just go Monday because more than likely they're just going to tell me that I'm fine anyway my doctor's appointment come around and I was scheduled to have a service check we seen baby Isaac and baby Isaac looks big matter of fact let me show you what baby Isaac looks like so that is baby you see baby's hands all up and a little squishy squishy little stomach and that's a little in bit of cord shape legs um just just being just being a little human in there it was just floating twitching a little booty all up in there and she was like do you want to know what the sex is and that we kind of looked at each other and we was like just write it down so she wrote it down and she continued to look at the baby and then she looks at my service and she said your service looks good and i was like how good does it look and she was like well it's it's good it's tight and she was like it's about four centimeters 
so it's pretty long. And on average, for a pregnant woman, it should be about four to five. So it was looking like healthy, which was shocking to me because every single thing that I was going through, I'm like, why am I going through all this if everything looked good? But I already knew that's what she was gonna say. So I immediately looked at David and David and looked defeated like, always something like we're happy don't get me wrong and I know someone's gonna take it out of context because someone always does but we're happy that baby's fine so that's what we got out of it baby's fine and baby's heartbeat was 148 but we know it's more than what meets the eye but my body isn't reflecting it. That's just, it's just this frustrating road. So we got the paper with the gender in it. So that was decided. So we decided that we are going to do a video on the gender reveal. So we go see the doctor. The doctor eventually comes in the room, tells me everything looks fine. And I started to go down the spiel of everything I told you guys. He was just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds like you just have a yeast infection and that's probably why you're having cramps. You're not having contractions because your body doesn't represent that. So you're not having contractions and I immediately got pissed because I hate when someone tells me how I feel. Like you can say, hey, I know you said this contractions, but based off of this, it doesn't look like it's contractions. Uh, the likelihood of contractions is not likely but when you just tell me blatantly like you're a man telling me that I didn't experience contractions and the one thing if you don't know about the service the service grows and shortened based off of maybe stress how you feel so for him to say your body doesn't represent it you weren't having it it just automatically pissed me off so I was like what about this what about that what about this? And he was just kind of like, uh. And I was really surprised by his mannerisms because he was one of the few that was fighting for me with Nala. So I didn't expect him to be so like, yeah, I mean, the yeast infection symptoms, which I believe that you have, is the reason that you are getting strong cramps, which you are believing that is contraction. So after that, I kind of shut down. I shut down, one thing went out the other year. He ended up doing a pet smear like situation to check and see if I had a yeast infection. I, I, I actually did end up having a yeast infection, which is funny, but um, which is common. He ended up prescribing me some suppository cream to insert for seven days. And he just was kind of like, let's just see each other every two weeks to make sure that the service is not gonna shorten if it's gonna shorten it's gonna shorten from here on out so now i gotta go to a doctor every two weeks but we left the doctors feeling like bittersweet because we had the gender envelope but we didn't necessarily get the answers to the questions type thing so um we left kind of feeling different but i know you guys probably wondering what's going on with the gender situation but we never actually found out because we ended up losing the envelope with the gender in it and we gotta wait till we go back on Monday to get it again. So I could have emailed um, and asked them, hey, can you send this to me? But I wasn't supposed to get it at that appointment. The lady felt bad for me, so she told me on the sly. So I wasn't willing to email or call them asking for something that I didn't pay for. Yeah, I mean, the whole past couple of weeks has just been a whole lot. Um, I haven't been able to cook. We haven't had food. We've been going out to eat every single day uh, for the past two and a half weeks. It's just been a whirlwind, and I've been trying to get my life together, and I can't seem to piece it. Um, inside of this whole two-week craze, we also been looking up at a lot of strollers, so we did um, bring it down to three. 
that we like, which is the Nuna Demi Grow, the Upper Baby Vista, and the Eye Candy Print. So it's between them three right now. We really like the Demi Grow the most, but we gotta see if it actually fits in our car, and then we can be able to slim it down from there. But we did go recently to the warehouse on eye candy, but I'll talk about that more in my 17 week update since that just happened. So there's a lot of things I figure out about a double stroller situation and I really do want to be able to break it down. I think I'm going to do a video on just buying a double stroller in like a comparison video because I feel like I've been doing a lot of research that can be extremely helpful and time saving for someone else who needs a double stroller. So let me know if you guys want to see that. So that's pretty much all that's been going on. That's a whole lot, but that's pretty much everything that has been happening so far. Um, I'm not going to do a baby summary of 15 and 16 week because I already said a mouthful and to be honest, we can just save it for the next video. So yeah, I think I just want to be able to show you guys my belly bump uh, obviously my belly bump isn't gonna be accurate to this week because I am more towards the middle of 17 and 18 weeks instead of 15 and 16 weeks so I might be a little bit bigger I honestly haven't gained any weight though my weight has been staying around 176 for a while now so let's see what my belly measures now it's the point that we're going to measure belly. I don't remember what I measured at around this time for Nala, but we'll deal with that, I guess, in the next video. So let's go ahead and get up. Ugh. Lord. So, this is what my belly bump is looking like. Like I said, I don't think it's changed much. Okay, let me stop squeezing it. That's the truth, y'all. That is the truth. So this is what baby Isaac is looking like. I am slowly missing my waistline. Let's go ahead and go to the front. And I feel like in a lot of ways I can still not look pregnant, but it just depends. My line is starting to darken up, but let's just see what I am measuring though. Get this right. I'm scared. Ooh, I'm scared. Cause Almost when I was time to deliver Nala, I was around 40, almost 43 inches, 42 and a half right before I delivered. And I definitely think I'm gonna be further this time. I'm about 37 inches. Is that right? About 37. I wonder what week I was at 37 inches because I'm very curious because I do remember seeing 37 weeks on one of my bump dates. So, okay, at 16 weeks, I was measuring 37 and a half. So I'm actually measuring smaller further. Hmm, so maybe I'm not as big. So 16 weeks, I was 37 and a half, which is surprising because I was extremely sick with Nala and not with baby Isaac, whatever he or she is and I'm smaller, so I guess that is good. I don't know, child. I just don't wanna be 200 pounds once I deliver this baby. That's all I know. But um, there's gonna be a lot more updating to come, but I wanted to make sure that I came to you guys um, and told you guys what's going on because I know you guys miss me and I miss you guys too. And I miss being on YouTube. And I just have to take a step back, take care of my family, y'all. I know that some of you have been DMing me, child. I know and I understand. I love you guys too. But I had to like get my life together because y'all don't understand this YouTube life and editing and doing all this stuff. But I'm hoping that between me having the new iPhone and editing on my phone, as well as when I get home, uh, that can be able to come back sometime. But I am really sorry that if this video seems like it's all over the place, I'm 
getting back into it girl like i i'm there i understand i'm getting back into it it's just so much information in my mind and pregnancy brain is coming back to me y'all then i'm forgetting everything so i'm trying to tell y'all everything but like i said before make sure you follow me on my instagram that's probably where you're gonna get the most updated information uh, and the quickest way to get to me at colors underscore isaac so if you don't follow me on there please make sure you follow me on there also if you haven't already make sure you follow me on here youtube subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications child and i guess that's it for this video i did enough talking so uh i really love you guys and i appreciate all the love and support and i would definitely see you guys in the next one